today is day three, um, Friday, so surgery was Tuesday. Um, so today, um, it's actually the evening, today was a little rough, um, day three was kind of hard. I woke up several times in the middle of the night, just my face was just so tight, I thought my head was going to explode. Um, the inside of my mouth was really swollen, like under your tongue, got, it gets really tight and it got really, um, like a lot of pressure along the inside like of your gums right here and then the tongue so and now the roof of my mouth is swollen pretty good so um that's been stinging and burning all day but the worst part was just the the swelling like i look like a horse my lips stuck straight out my face just got like ballooned um i still don't have any bruising like at least not anything noticeable there might be a like slight bruising here but my skin is super super tight um and it's getting kind of leathery like it's just like so swollen but um other than that it hasn't been it hasn't been horrible it's just been a lot of a lot of severe discomfort with swelling and a lot of burning um i don't want to eat anything every time i put anything in my mouth no matter what it is it's going to sting and burn um i can't do coffee I can do coffee um so not everything but even water kind of burns but uh this is the most i've been able to open my mouth all day so improvement is swelling's going down um but yeah uh i had about three hours of sleep last night and so that's a big improvement the first two nights didn't sleep at all um last night i was able to sleep about three hours so it's getting better um but um the the swelling is pretty intense guys keep ice packs with you because that does help as soon as you put ice on your face it just cools way down you start feeling better so um today is day three i just took some um more pain meds and um some more advil and arnica and I'm about ready to go to bed so i'll let you know how everything goes tomorrow hopefully this giant puffiness will be a little bit of darkness under my eyes so hopefully all this will just go away by tomorrow Okay, one more thing. Um, eating. <laughs> that is definitely odd. It's very, very weird to eat. Uh, it's kind of weird. You don't know where to put food in, first of all. That's at least my first struggle. Like, okay, how do I... I keep hitting my teeth. Um, secondly, I don't know how to use my tongue to get the food on the teeth because I haven't had teeth on both sides for so long. So learning how to chew is going to be an issue. Um, Kristen was like, yeah, it's like physical therapy. Just keep practicing. Um, so chewing is, is different because I have to learn where to like adjust my jaw to eat because when I want to bite down normally, it's in the front. So that's something they always said to, that it's, it's going to be a chore too. You have to learn where it kind of clicks in and then that's where you have to eat. But learning how to readjust your entire jaw for every bite and the whole time you're eating so it becomes second nature. It's definitely a chore, but that's the weirdest part is um, not knowing where your teeth are, first of all, and then how to use them is a big deal, um, but they work well. They're sharp. They bite. I just don't know how to align them when I'm just eating, but um, it does not hurt to put pressure on them, so that's one thing I was worried about is the implants right after surgery. If it would hurt to bite, it doesn't. The only part that hurts are your gums, so... That's something to look forward to. Just learn how to use your chompers.